Visit Basis offers many ways that you can check your product at the store level. Today we will show you how the different answer types on Visit Basis task templates apply to different parameters and can really give you a great overview of how your product is presented and how it is performing at the store level. This is a standard merchandising task on Visit Basis with the traditional parameters one might want to measure for products at the store level. When you create a task on Visit Basis, you'll be filling in the fields in the general window. Then you choose which products the task template will apply to on items. If the task applies to a product category, then you can leave the items window as it is. However, if you want to apply the task to specific products, then you must check the box Load Products and select the said products. If you want to apply the task to all the products in the store's must talk list, then you need to check the box Load Locations MSL Planogram. You can configure must talk lists for each location by, on the location window, selecting a location, opening the MSL Planogram window and specifying whether each one of the products is on the location's must talk list by checking the MSL box, and the recommended quantity of each product. You can also have master MSLs for a group of stores. For instance, all Bravo stores could share the same must talk list and simplify your MSL setup and updating process by choosing one of your stores as a reference or even create a mock store to use as a reference. Let's say the store BV1 is our reference. Then, on the other Bravo stores, Instead of updating the MSL planogram window, you will add a property with the name MSL underscore parent underscore location underscore code and the value BV1, which is the code for the location with the reference or master MSL. Let's go back to our task template. Now we go to actions to set up the metrics we want to extract from our store audits. It is always better to standardize the answers we're getting from our reps in order to be able to generate meaningful reports. That is why, when checking our products at the store level, we recommend using either selection or number answer types. You may additionally request photos if you are analyzing any visual aspects, such as presentation, condition, etc. As you can see, VisitBasis completely allows you to customize your selection answer options. In this out-of-stock question, for instance, I only have the options of yes or no. In this question on product location, however, I have several options, and the rep is allowed to choose more than one, in case the product is located both at the cookie aisle and at a promotional display, for instance. We can also use the selection answer type to build rating scales. In this other task, for instance, where the rep is asked to rate the self-service meat freezer at the store on a scale from 0, worst, to 5, best, the selection options are the numbers on the scale, and the rep is not allowed to choose multiple answers. We are also able to attach documents to our task templates on visit basis. This task, for instance, has an image of the cookie shelf planogram attached, so the reps can use it as a reference. You can also attach PDFs of manuals and other documents. Let's see how the merchandising task works on the Visit Basis mobile app. Here we have our visit with the task already scheduled. Here we see the planogram attachment. And now we will perform the task. We can see that this task applies to two products. We can see it in Item View or Action View. So we'll answer the questions, out of stock, in store location, product faces, position on shelf, retail price, promotion, clearance tag, promotion or clearance price we can leave it blank, number of damaged items, number of expired items, Approximate share of cookie shelf. Now the next action is marked in bold, meaning it is required and I will not be able to close the visit if I don't answer it. So let's take a picture.
We will now answer the questions for the other product. Okay, done. Now we can go back to the visits window. Synchronize and close the visit. Let's now go back to the Visit Basis Office app and see what the report on the merchandising task looks like. We'll go to the Reports tab. Here we can see that the visit we just closed has already shown up. Let's run a proper report on the merchandising task. First, we will select the report type. For tasks, we have options Task, Action Item, and Task Item. The Task Action Item option will display one visit per line and will have one column for each action for each item, meaning, in our case with two products, that we'll have two times the number of task questions as columns, one for each product. The Task Item report, in this case, offers a better layout, with one product per visit per line. Then it has an extra column for barcode, and lays out the task actions in columns, so we have two times the number of visits as lines. We can then add a filter for barcode, and we'll only see the answers for each individual product. One extra feature on reports. If we add an extra column for task title to this report, we are even able to reschedule the visits directly from the Photo tab. Let's say that this picture is showing as a damaged product or display that must be rearranged. Now we can click on the photo, click on Reschedule, select the wrap, select a date for the follow-up visit, and even send the rep a note telling him or her what to do on the follow-up visit. Since we standardized the answers, it's also very easy to generate visit basis analytics reports. We just click here on Analytics to access the interface, select our task, select a date range, and click on Go. We can then filter by wrap or by location. Here we can see the total number of answers and then the breakdown of the answers by task question. Thanks to the standardized selection answers, you can see pie charts like this. You will see bar charts for number answers, and free text, signature, and photos will appear like this. The charts are product specific, so to change the product stats being viewed, just change the product on the chart drop down box. That concludes our tour of how to check your product at the store level with VisitBasis. Should you have any questions, please contact us at support at visitbasis.com.